In this Lords of the Fallen video, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get yourself 15 full armor sets. So if there are certain stats you're looking for, drip or you're just a collector like me, today I have you covered. The most of these are early to mid game too. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I do quite a few armor sets in today's guide. Some of these you can freely go and loot, others uh, require items you need to collect and then hand in to unlock armor sets for you to purchase. Others are hidden behind secret paths and maybe even a mini boss. None of these armor sets though are tied to remembrances from the major bosses, so don't be worried there. So let's get into it guys. And first up we have a real early game armor set called the Pilgrim Armor Set. This is before that Pieta fight. So from the Red Corpse village entrance vestige of Hanalo, follow this path I take. Now you will eventually come to this tree. Hanging from this tree is the first part of this set. I've already picked this up, I picked it up as soon as I started the game, so it isn't here for me, but you'll see this hanging here if you haven't already grabbed it. From here guys, follow this short path I take. And then you'll eventually come to this point right here. Here you have to enter that umbral. Once you've entered that umbral, just follow this quick path guys. And again, hanging is that loot. The second part to complete the four piece pilgrim armor set. So shoot it down and you are good. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Neophyte and Orion Preacher armor sets. So as you progress the game and you beat Paeta, you eventually come to the Skyrest Bridge Festige of Ephrog. Here you will notice there are a few NPCs that you can talk to and clear out that dialogue. Now there's a vendor here called Execta Dunmire. If you come here off the bat, you will be able to purchase two armor sets he has for you. These are the Orion Preacher and the Neophyte armor sets. So you can come here anytime you want guys and purchase these from him. What I will say is, the Orion Preacher set is said to be also located for some players near Jalinda where you first find her in her cell. Within the Pilgrim's Peach Barroom area, it's said as you climb down the ladder where she's in her cell where you rescue her, behind the ladder should be this armor set for you. This definitely was not the case for me though. Now while we are at this vendor guys, it's also important to note that there are collectibles out in the open world where you can bring back to Dunmire and he will offer you more items including armor sets. These we will discover later on in the video. Okay, so next up guys, you have the Destria Guide armor set. So from the Sanctuary of Baptism, Vestige of Chebu, you need to trek quite a mission back around to that Skyrest area. So follow the path I take on screen now. Now there will be enemies in your way, but for the most part you can run past them.
you will eventually get to this point right here. Behind this door is the armor in a chest, but this door requires a key. So to get this key guys, here you have to be very quick indeed. So follow this path I take across this bridge. Then at the end of this bridge guys, pull up your lantern and walk within that umbral state and then just drop down right here. From here guys, enter the Umbro Realm. Now this key is located across this Umbro path, this Umbro form bridge, at that halfway point right there. But you have to be quick here guys, because you need to extract the key, but as soon as you do, there will be a Reaper that spawns in basically on top of you, who does some serious damage. So you have to do this real real fast, grab that key and run to the other side as I do on screen guys and leave that unbroken ground. Once you've done this guys, go to that door, unlock it and this armor can be found within this chest. Next up guys, we have the Sacred Resonance Armor Set. Now this armor set also requires a key, but this one costs. It's purchased from Stormund, captain of the Fidelis, who I may add does do a vanishing act eventually, but you do meet him again. Now he does have three armor sets for sale for you right off the bat. These include the Hollowed Knight and the Mornstead Inventory. These ain't the best, but again, if you're a collector, you may want to pick these up before he does vanish for good. So back to that sacred resonance. This requires a key you purchase from Stormund. It's called the Pilgrim's Perch Key. This key unlocks a few hidden doors for you, which you can find loot behind. One of them hides his armor set. Now, if you don't purchase this key straight away, you will meet him again. But ultimately, he will leave this key for you with a note. So don't worry if you miss this the first time you've come back to Skyrest and he isn't here. Eventually guys, this key and note will be left for you. So just progress the game and eventually you will come to it. So upon you purchasing the Pilgrim's Perch key, from the Sanctuary of Baptism Vestige of Chebu Progress Point, you want to progress the way I go on screen now. You will eventually come to a boss called the Scared Sister Deli, who you have to take out. She is an easy fight, though I will not love. Once you have taken her out, follow the path I take. Eventually guys, you'll get to this point right here. Use the key to unlock this door. In here guys, is a chest with this armor in for you. So grab it. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Purger armor set. So this armor set you do have to purchase, but before we get to that point guys, you have to unlock it. Now there is a little mystery surrounding this, people don't know exactly how this is unlocked. It's to do with the Skyrest uh, NPC vendor of Dunmire, the one we visited earlier. Now upon you taking certain items to him, he does eventually start selling new things for you. Most people I've seen uh, said these armor sets are tied to individual things. For some, that may be the case, for the purchase set it definitely isn't. 
Every video I've seen on this armor set suggests it pops up for sale after you hand Dunmire the Hallowed Sentinel scripture. For me, this definitely wasn't the case. I got this armor set from handing in the Book of Sins before handing in the Hallowed Sentinel scripture or any other item. But I've also seen people get it from handing in that Hallowed Sentinel scripture too. So guys, to be sure, I will show you the location of the Book of Sins and the Hallowed Sentinel scripture so you can get this armor set 100%. So first up, the location of the Book of Sins. So you need to come to the Pilgrim's Perch, Bow Room, Vestige of Blind Agatha. Then guys, you need to follow the path I take to the left here. It's quite a trek, I won't lie, and there are enemies in your way that you will have to take down. So be careful and do what you've got to do. Okay, so next up guys, we have the location of the Hallowed Sentinel Scripture. Again, from the Pilgrim's Perch, Ballroom, Vestige of Blind Agatha. Follow the path I take on screen now. Eventually you will get to this area right here where there are a ton of enemies. These you need to get past to grab this item found at the end of the platform in that cage. These enemies though you can easily run past without a problem. Once you have both items, now head back to the Skyrest Bridge Vestige and go speak with Dunmire. You will see here he has an icon next to that talk option. Upon you pressing this, you can give him the Book of Sin and again give him the Book of Sentinel Scripture. Once you clear out his dialogue, you can check his purchase tab. Sometimes the armor won't appear straight away for you if that's the case for you. Simply from this point, go back to that vestige and rest then come back here and you should be able to purchase this armor. Now this armor also could be tied behind story progression too. Keep in mind, I when I did this, I cleansed three beacons before doing it so yes keep that in mind next up guys we have the antique hollowed armor set this one you can simply just go and grab now this armor set only comes in three parts i don't actually believe there are legs for it but i could be mistaken 
Okay, so from the Pilgrim's Perch, Balroom, a vestige of blind Agatha. Follow the short path I take on screen now, do what I do, and grab this armor. Next up guys, we have the Cursed Armor set. This one you can basically just trek to and grab. There is a Reaper standing near the chest where you grab this from, but it isn't too hard to take out. So from the Mance Supply Pathway Vestige of Ferris the Chard, follow the path I take on screen now. You will have to uncover the pathway, but follow what I do and you should be good. Next up guys, we have two armor sets. We have the Noblewoman and the Kalrath Guardsman armor. Now the nearest vestige to these is basically beyond the point from the original path you take to get to them. So instead of backtracking on yourself for the people who may not have got to this point yet, we will travel here from the Skyrus Bridge uh, vestige of Ethrog. So do as I do on screen now guys, it's quite a run, there are a few enemies in your way. Some you may have to take out, but all in all, if you are real quick, you can grab these two armor sets relatively easy.
Next up guys, we have probably the best looking armor in this game I've seen so far, the Angel of the Void. This one too, you can just simply run and grab from a chest. Now there are enemies in your way, but you can easily run past them. Now I will take the direct route you will need to follow if you haven't been here before. I mean you can unlock shortcuts, uh, but you initially do have to progress the area to find the shortcuts and unlock them. So for the sake of people that haven't got to this point yet, from the Forsaken Fen Vestige of Valade, follow the path I take on screen now guys and get this armor set. Next up guys we have the Vanguard armor set. For this one you need to grab another item and take it back to Dunmire within Skyrest. Now this item it seems always rewards you the option to purchase the Vanguard armor set so do not worry about that. Ok so from the Forsaken Fen Vestige of Valade follow the path I take. Now to reach this item which is called the Vanguard Barras Rosary you will have to defeat a miniboss but he is pretty easy. So follow the path I take on screen now guys to this mini bus and clear him out. Once you have this boss down, do as I do on screen now to unlock this path. Then progress forward as I do on screen now and grab this item.
Once you have it, head back to Skyrest, go to Dunmire, hand it in to him, and he will sell you this Vanguard armor set. Pretty cool, so don't miss this one. Also remember, if it doesn't show up straight away, go and rest at that vestige and come back, it should be here for you. So lastly for today's video, we have the Fitzroy's armor set. Now this is another armor set you can just simply run up and grab, but depending on where you are to get to the area uh, this one's obtained from, you will have to take out a minibus called the Ruiner, who is pretty easy. Now for me there is no vestige but beyond this item, this armor set. So from the nearest vestige prior to this armor set's location, we will follow the path. That path is quite a trek but you can run past almost every single enemy besides the minibus, the Ruiner, who you will have to fight. So from the Suja Hamlet Vestige of the Pale Butcher, follow the path I take on screen now. So you will eventually get to this point right here, which is where the boss fight happens. Take him out and you're good to progress on and grab this armor set. So once you've taken out the boss, follow the path I take on screen now guys, and go up this eventual tower I come to. At the very top, there is a hidden chest, which rewards you this armor set. And there we have it guys, plenty of armor sets for you within the world of Lords of the Fallen. Now I know there are many more out there, so expect future guides on these. 
Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.